been a busy, busy week in the pro game in London. But tomorrow night at the Royal Albert Hall, it is the turn of the amateurs when the British military meet the American military for the inaugural Royal Albert Hall Cup. It's also the first time that there's been boxing at the venue since 1999. Now, the man behind the event is Frank Warren. I'm delighted to say that Frank joins me on the line now. Good evening, Frank. Good evening, Steve. First of all, have you been at, the, have you been at number 10 this evening, or, or can't you say, is it secret? No, tonight we, we, uh, the, uh, David and Samantha Cameron hosted a, uh, a, uh, a, a reception at Downing Street for both teams, which was fabulous. Oh. Come out there and it was a lovely evening. It was a big, big thrill for the, uh, the uh, British Army guys and obviously for the Americans as well. And, uh, yeah, it's very, very good of them to acknowledge, um, you know, that, that uh, we got the boxing back on at the Albert Hall and also acknowledging that, you know, what, what the British troops do for the country. Now, now F- Frank, before we talk specifically uh, about the about what's actually happening tomorrow and where it can be seen, and, and now you've been teasing me a little bit lately about the two captains. You've been hinting, you've been doing be- terrible impersonations of British actors and American actors, and, and so I'm guessing it's X and Y. So uh, have, the captain, have you actually got these captains? Who are they? Tell us who they are. Oh, I'm still teasing you. You know what? We still don't know who they are, to be quite honest. We've got... <laughs> I'm going to tell you the honest truth. We had two really big names, but they had filming commitments, and, and apparently the, mo- the movie got put back um, for a, two weeks and therefore couldn't do it. It's a big letdown oh. in that deployment. Having said that, Go on. the place tomorrow is absolutely full. We've given every you, single ticket yeah, away. You can't buy a ticket, can you? Explain what this ticket's for troops well, You can't, can't buy a ticket. ticket. Well, it's right. Tickets for troops is a charity that was set up a couple of years ago. Uh, I, I, I sit on the board as one of their patrons, and basically, what uh, the, what, what it's all about is providing tickets for um, British troops and their families, or widows, and sure. so forth uh, for events. It's not just boxing; it's sporting events, uh, f- um, concerts, and so forth. Uh, and a lot of people have got involved, and, and between us, I think it's nearly 300,000 tickets have been given away wow. over the past few years to, you know, so that people get to go and see events. And what we decided to do was put this event on at the Albert Hall. As you say, boxing hasn't been there for, I think it's about 12, 13 yeah, 12 years, years now. Yeah. And um, the the objective was just to get some you know, to do it for the tickets and troops, make this, put this event together, which is for the Royal Albert Hall Cup, was sponsored by the Royal Albert Hall themselves, who've been fabulous cool. in helping us get this together. And uh, we gave, we, or we've given, all the 5,000 tickets away to, wow. uh, to the military and their families. But people can so, watch, this, this, this is going to be part of a Box Nation broadcast tomorrow. If I'm, that is definitely, it's definitely live, a Box Nation. Live on Box Nation. We had a real amateur week this week. Had the, yeah, brilliant. As, as, your, as your band, it's very difficult for me to say that after all the wine I've been drinking at the reception. But um, we, from, aside from Baku, which is much easier to say. Baku, yeah, so let's go with Baku, had, yeah. Yeah, we've had the world champions on. We got, we obviously got the uh, on Sunday have the um, the finals on on Box Nation, and um, the, the alcohol shows and on, al- on al- al- tomorrow. Now, Frank, I'm just going to ask you one quick question uh, about Anthony Joshua, who was on Box Nation yesterday. This soup everywhere. Now, I know you've met Anthony. He's been. I've seen him. At, you know, some of your shows the last eighteen months. Uh, you you do know what he did out there by beating that the, the Olympic champion. From Italy in a double world, you know that was that was staggering, don't you? you do know just quite well, how impressive I'll, I'll that be honest, was. I think that's one of the best performances of uh, an amateur boxer. For I can't think for for, you know, for a long, long, long time. Yeah, you know, it, considering it, his age, considering the amount of experience he's had internationally, cool. to, to beat beat the Olympic, I think he's Olympic champion and yeah, and Olympic and double world, world. Or, double world champion, and beat him and. Bear in mind, he was behind in the first round. So to come and back. Came, yeah, and came back and done it. And it tells you a lot about his heart and about his ability. So, fabulous. But I'll tell you what, I've seen some... some uh, the guy from... The, the guy who beat the Cuban. Um, oh, the heavyweight. The big heavyweight. Uh, yeah, I thought I liked him as well. Yeah, he's and a lump. so much for all this bunging. Yeah, actually. Yeah, what about uh, that? How about tell that? Tell me about that. Tell me about that. that, 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 that Cuban, was that, was, that, was that a crooked heat or what? <laughs> you, know, he done a, you know, he got beat absolutely on, on, on his own corner through the toweling. So, I mean, I, you know, I, 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 it just really annoys me that boxing, you know, people think boxing is an easy target when they come out with some of this stuff. Well, so, I haven't seen, I've not seen anything in there or seen any reports no. of anything being untoward in these world championships. And I think that. Yeah, you know, and, and I'm and I'm pleased that's the case, and I think there's some po- apologies are due. Well, listen, I, I you know I know from the, what the what the lawyers are throwing around, there will be some apologies, I'm sure. But listen, Frank, so that's on that's tomorrow night at the Royal Albert Hall. If you can't get a ticket, if you're not military, you're not part of military family, it's on Box Nation from about uh, seven seven thirty, I think. Frank, I'll speak to you soon. I'll see you tomorrow night, at the Royal Albert Hall. Thanks very much, it's Frank. We're on there. No-